Hey guys, uh, FBR here. Um, today I just went to my local fish store and picked up a couple um, black bristle stars for my tank. Two of them. I got them each for $13.99. Uh, seems like a pretty good price. So I'm going to put them in my tank and for their scavengers so they like to eat any like leftover foods and waste that's in the bottom of the tank. So I got my son here. He's wanna, you want to help me check out these fish? Hey, oh, who's that? Oh, oh, no, no. So I'm just going to show you guys. I got them here in the pail. See them? So I'm gonna put the end up putting them in the 220 gallon tank right here behind me. That's where they're gonna go. So I'm just I acclimated them. I put them in this bucket to show you guys what they look like. So let's take a closer look. They're pretty neat. They're really like spiny, but they're really good scavengers. They get in between all the rocks and they can clean up all the waste and food. All right, guys. So here's the two uh, black bristle stars I got. They're gonna be my my scavengers in my tank eating any leftover food that I feed the fish and waste. So they'll just go around between the rocks and they live under the rocks. They're very shy, so you don't see them very often, but you can always still see like their limbs hanging stuff hanging out. But they're really good scavengers. I have little ones in my tank, like really, really tiny ones. They just seem to be multiplying, but slow rate. But these ones are pretty big and hopefully they'll clean up crew. I'm not really too crazy on hermit crabs in my tank. I might have, since my tank's been running, I might have five in there. I don't really follow that rule. You need one per gallon. And same with the snails. I have the I have five big like turbo Mexicans that are really good for uh, cleaning in my tank. I'm not too crazy, but I just try to get just the certain ones I need for what I need in my tank that works best for me. So let's put these guys in my tank. Right, guys, so I got one captured here here and just a baby cup. So let's let's put him in the in the tank right now. Here we go. Put him on Aiken Mountain. Going into Aiken Mountain. So we're in the top of my tank. I'm just gonna set them just here, so just for viewing purposes. Put them right here. Maybe he doesn't want to come out. There we go. So let's go down here so we can actually see where he goes. Can you see him, guys? Really blending right in. So his new home in the two 220 gallon. Where is he? There he's moving now. There he is right there guys. He's just slowly moving. Whoop, he's coming up here. Moving right into the crowd. It's hard to see now, but now he'll be doing his job. Hard to clean in the tank. All right, so I got the second one. He's ready to go. I got him in the cup. So we'll play, we're gonna try to maybe place him on the sand bed and he can go near the bottom. I got one at the top of Ecan Mountain. I'll put this one at the bottom. So this is Ecan Mountain where I've slowly been adding uh, my frags of Ecan. Right there. Keep adding a different one. So I'm gonna try to get him down here so he can like work around the bottom. Scavenging. So I got him on the sand. He sort of fell on it. There he goes. He's flipping over now. So let's just watch him move around here a little bit. He's gonna try to find some rock as soon as he, he can because they don't like to be out in the open very often. He's on the move there now. So yeah, really good scavengers. They'll eat up any waste and meat or anything left over from shrimp or whatever is going on. Get on the side of the tank. He's, he's checking out, see where he's gonna hide here. But I've always wanted to get a couple of these. I did my research on them. These seem to be the best ones to get. The green ones, if you get the green serpents, they're get them out of your tank right away because they'll, they'll latch onto small fish, any little small crustaceans and eat them. So. The black uh, spined ones here are the most reef safe ones. Guys, that's I uh, just showed you the two new uh, bristle starfish I got. The black, uh, the black spined ones, the most reef safe. Whatever you do, don't get the green ones. If you ever see them in your tank, get rid of them because they can latch onto your small fish and eat them. But I did a lot of research before I before I buy anything and put it in my tank. You know, I want to make sure everything is safe and good to go in there and not tell you guys to, to, to buy it. But, so yeah, so they're in the tank there now. And it's probably takes some time for them to adjust, but they'll be doing their job just like every other thing we put in there for them to do their job. So if you guys like this uh, like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Send a little com comment. If you guys have anything you want to ask me, send away, okay guys? More than happy to check it out. So there we go, there's the 220. All right, thanks guys.